<coughs> all right. All right. Oh, oh, still got an ad break, so I'm gonna wait just a bit for that to end for the, the people on stream so I can get started on this. All right, all right. Uh, turn that volume down a little bit. Okay, that's good. Get uh, some, one other thing I'll have to do. Okay, okay, should be done. The ad break should be done in five, four, three, two, one. Hello! Uh, I uh, mistimed when I came back. I meant to come back right after the ad break, but... Well, these things happen. Accidents happen. Anyways, had to reschedule. Uh, if you don't know, we were going to do Married Couple Plays tonight, but... My lovely wife, Doodlebug, she did a cover for a song. It's on her YouTube channel. Is the YouTube channel Doodlebug or Edx Lover? Edx Lover One. Uh, Edx Lover One is her, it's her YouTube channel. If you want to see any of her covers or any other videos she's done, um, so she was doing that music cover, and well, it, it, it took a toll on her throat. So we like we decided that it would be best for her if she did not stream tonight so I decided to, to stream this which I intended to start on Thursday I'll probably continue it Thursday yeah I'll continue it Thursday uh, I debated whether or not to continue Elden Ring which I'm gonna be certain gonna be doing for a charity stream but uh, I'll be able to stream it again for that charity at a later date anyway I suppose I should go over how my Nuzlocke rules go. And for those of you that don't know how a Nuzlocke works, these standard rules are only the first viable counter you in an area can be count can be caught. Like if you go into Route One and you don't have Pokeballs yet, none of those encounters count. But once you do, the first encounter you get. In Route 1, that's the only Pokemon you can catch on that route. And if you fail that, well, you can't catch anything on that route. So that's basically how it works. And same with gift Pokemon. If a Pokemon is presented to you as a gift, if that's the first Pokemon you can get, that's your encounter for that area. And the second rule is any Pokemon that faints is boxed permanently. It's considered dead. Um... They, they, they also add the rule that you have to nickname your Pokemon, but when I heard that rule, it's like, they don't it, it already? What? You, you don't name your Pokemon? Come on. So anyway, I'm also going by hardcore rules. So I can't use the item menu in battle, obviously, except for using Pokeballs. But any of the battle items or healing items can't use those in battle. And battle mode on set, did the game master, if you want to switch Pokemon, you don't do that. That just completely changes the game. It's the closest thing that Pokemon has to a difficulty setting. Well, with the exception of Black 2 and White 2, which actually do have a difficulty setting. And, well, I, I guess technically the item menu counts as a difficulty setting. Because you can deliberately gimp yourself. Items are overpowered in Pokemon. They're really good. Uh, but anyway, back to the rules. The fifth rule is that no Pokemon can be leveled up higher than the next Gym Leader or Elite Forest Ace. So I've got a list of uh, level caps for all the gyms and the Elite Four. Oh, I did not get... I did not get the level cap for red, the final battle. I know his level cap is really high. Like the highest of 
any final boss. Let's see, I uh, just want to pull him up just so I can get him out of there. Let's see. Uh, where, where is he? Where, where is, where is, he? okay, alright, the protagonist is okay, alright, red, alright, what's your little cap in, okay, so it's low cap at not so where is, 88, so that'll be our, the absolute final level cap, I think that's the highest level cap of any Pokemon game. Uh, but since that's his Pikachu, which is actually a pretty weak Pokemon, I will instead make that level cap 84, because that's the level his Venusaur, Charizard, and Blasters are at, and those are the real threats. <coughs> Pikachu, I'm sorry, but P Pikachu's not really a threat, so I think that makes more sense as a level cap. All right. I do have some, like, additional rules, like some some things that I've banned and some things that I have restricted, but those will very rarely come up. Uh, one of the more obvious restrictions is I'm only going to be use one leftover, so on the off chance I get two leftovers, I can only use one of them. Because that's just a really good item. So there's a lot of really good items I, will, I would restrict. And a lot of good abilities I will restrict, so I will outright ban. Uh, actually, I've only banned one ability, and I can get around it. It's a pickup, but I can get around the overpowered natures of pickup by just having the Pokemon carry an item. Because if it's not carrying an item, it'll find items lying around, which is really overpowered because they can pick up some really good items. I will be using, uh, let's see, P uh, PK Hex to hack in some items, particularly rare candy, so I don't have to grind. Uh, also, if I get to the point where I can farm an item, like if I could farm berries, I'll just hack a bunch of them in because I, then I can save myself some time there. If it's just something that's busy work. Uh, but I actually have a typo on this Google Doc. I, I, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! How do I? How did I? How did I make such a gross spelling error there? I'm glad you didn't see that document. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't show that because that was a really bad spelling error. Anyway. Okay, T ten minutes. I haven't started the gameplay itself. It's 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 time to fix that. All right, so I got to make sure I have all my stuff situated. I got my. <clears throat> all right, and I guess I'll keep this here just in case I need it. All right. That is that. Is that. Let us. Oh, but first, uh, let's. Uh, do this. All right. Uh, I didn't know that would cause. Alright, all right, gotta gotta look at that. What? Where's the where's the volume? Where's the volume control on this? Come on, the we get for volume control. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, there we go. So uh, cut that down to fifty percent. <laughs> There we go, that's much better. I will first tell you important things about this game. No, I, I, I wasn't born yesterday. I know how video games work. 
Ooh, ellipses, mysterious. Hmm, interesting. Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, I was just reading this book here. What kind of book was it, Professor Ark? I don't want to tell you. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> sorry for keeping you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I should probably turn the volume down a little bit more than that. Good lord, the vibe is just crazy. There we go, that's much better. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. What other world would I be in? There's only one Pokemon protagonist that got Isekai'd. <laughs> what, what's going on? Why are you acting like I've never been here? <laughs> My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know, know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. Except for Giovanni, he's kind of a jerk. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds. Others enslave them. <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you... Oh, oh, this is showing the cursor. That's interesting. I wonder if I can... Uh, change the settings so that that doesn't show the cursor. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. It's not how I capture a cursor. That's a little bit distracting. Okay. Hello, Fire Torch Heart. Why do they show Professor Oak and not Professor Elm? Uh, yeah, I don't like that. That's, that's one problem with these games. That Professor Elm kind of gets overshadowed by Professor Oak, who's a, apparently a bit of a celebrity in the Pokemon world because he invented the Pokedex. We should say that my handy model, that's the model he developed. Because technically the Pokedex existed before he was even born. But he made like the automatic version. The computer. Which definitely was a big deal, but yeah. Because of that, he, he kind of overshadows Professor Elm. And Professor Elm is just not as impressive. I feel I have to lower that volume just a little bit more. It just it just feels like I should. It just feels so loud. Okay. All right. Yeah. I well, having Professor Oak do this is really cool because it was the sequel to the first game. It felt like starting off with Professor Elm, like, it, he didn't have much to do because he got most of the cool stuff from Professor Oak. <laughs> Are you a boy or a girl? I can't tell by looking, and I don't want to assume. <laughs> Would you please tell me? Okay. Oh, I like the uh, design of the male player character in this game. It looks cool. Yes. Please tell me your name. Okay. There's not enough space for my name. See? Look. Uh -huh. See? N not enough space for, for Thunder Flirt. So I'm just Thunder, I guess. See? It's not fair. <laughs> Life isn't fair. <laughs> Look. Look, there's space in the box, but they don't give you enough space. So mean. <laughs> Your name is Thunder. Yes. Are you ready? Nope. <laughs> Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world. A Pokemon. I'll see you later. Ah, I'm shrinking. 
All right. I believe I can get root up the PC and check the mailbox. Would you like to do with Ryan? Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon. Wow. Wow, thanks, Lyra. <laughs> I never would have guessed any of that was going to happen. <laughs> I guess this is a, one of the games where you can get a free potion by looking into your PC. Alright. Hi, Thunder. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide-and-seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know what lab is, right? It's right next door to us. Why did you tell me where it is if, you, if I knew where it was? By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. <laughs> Welcome to the hand-holding of the game. Yeah. <laughs> you, you expecting a, okay, here's your bag. Here's your ID. Here's your toothbrush. Here's an extra pair of underwear. Mom! <laughs> Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Okay. All right, let's... We gotta open up those options. Let's bring up that text speed. And let's put the battle style to set. Ooh, what about the frames? Let's see. Which type do I want? Ooh, that looks good. It's pretty cool. All right, all right, some good stuff. All right, yeah, that was that was good. I like that. All right. Ooh, and I got I got nothing in my bag. She gave me an empty bag. I don't I don't even have my phone in here. <laughs> well, off I go, mom. If I steal her Meryl, she'll never know. Ah, dang it. <laughs> no, she doesn't know. Only Doodlebug is allowed to embarrass me. <laughs> she has not been informed. Now, I don't know how many people got this. Got this this extra little bit of a floor. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? I'm truly ambivalent to good and evil. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Elm. What do you and your receding hairline want? <laughs> hey, Thunder. I've been waiting for you. Will you be my friend? I don't have many friends. Do you know anything about my research? Well, yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. No, really? <laughs> but before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with their Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. Yeah, they'll only become present in later games. <laughs> it could have some it could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm gonna give you a Pokemon. C can you you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Oh, hey, I got an email from my friend that's totally real. <laughs> he, he goes to another school. You wouldn't know him. He's really cool. 
<laughs> uh huh. Okay. Man, he reads his email right in front of me like an absolute douche. <laughs> hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. That that seems rather presumptuous. <laughs> Think about it, that's ridiculous. That's like calling someone Mr. Animal. <laughs> well, what's what's the little baby crying about? One of my cats is meowing. <laughs> He's being so fussy. He keeps finding weird things and reading about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying this. This time it's real. Probably not a Pokemon egg, but we're still too bit so busy with our Pokemon research. Is that a is that a Nintendo DS in your pocket? No, shut up. <laughs> Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? Can I use you for unpaid labor? <laughs> yes, I have two kitties, Shadow and Calamity. They are very cute. You could choose one of the Pokemon over there. What if I just grab all three? You're not going to stop me. Uh, but then I would cry. And you don't want to see that, do you? <laughs> Alright. Now the starter of choice. Uh, there's really only one starter I ever go for in these games. I freaking love Cyndaquil. Look at this thing. He looks so cute and badass at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, let's do this. You'll take Cyndaquil, the Fire-type Pokemon? Heck yeah. See, you the Cyndaquil from Professor Elm. Give a nickname to the Cyndaquil you received? Absolutely. Oh, oh my goodness. It's a rare female Cyndaquil. Pretty sure the odds of that are pretty low. Let me, let me actually check. Let's see. What are the odds of... Yeah, the male to female ratio, where is that? You know it's listed here somewhere. Ah, right, here we go. It's only a 12.5% chance of Cyndaquil being female. That's, that's really good. All right, so I'm going to put in new Barktown encounter is Cyndaquil. And I probably misspelled that. Yes. Cyndaquil only has one out. Anyway. Name it, name it Doodle? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that works. I can actually name her Doodle Bug because the nicknames for Pokemon have more space. All right, all right, Doodlebug. Is Doodlebug the nickname you will give? Well, I definitely am gonna have to protect her. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, you didn't hear? No. This Cyndaquil is female. That's a uh, very rare. So, uh, Fireheart suggested I name her Doodlebug. Which is kind of tragic, because this is a Nuzlocke. I really hope I don't lose her, because that's going to be terrible. That's going to make me feel a little bit more emotional. <laughs> yeah, well, thankfully, there's not a lot of threats against fire types in this game. That's good. Yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't read what he said. All right, you can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. You're never seeing this Cyndaquil again. I'm keeping her forever. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Throw, throw your Chikorita at me? <laughs> if your Pokemon goes hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Your suffering pleases me, Thunder. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I don't care about what else you have to say. Ah, what are you doing? Stop it! So, I want you to have these. These to help with your task. 
All right, so this guy gives me potions. Gives me tons of potions. Pokemon are weak at the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Oh, I might as well check out her stats. Ah, unfortunately, that means uh, low HP IVs. The HP stat. HP at 19 at level 5 means low HP IV. So the attack's pretty good. Special defense. Really good speed. All right. I'm going to be using PKX to... Yeah. It doesn't begin until I get Pokeballs. But yeah. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm also going to be using Rare Candy so I don't have to grind. So when I hack those in, I can actually take a quick look at my Pokemon IVs. Because I am really curious. I can tell her... HP IVs are low because her HP is 19. Have all five most Pokemon have like 20 HP, but if they have low IVs, it'll be at 19. Danya, so you picked a Cyndaquil? Yes. <laughs> That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. I wonder if you get anything by that. I don't think you do. That's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! Don't pay attention to her, Cyndaquil. You're cool. Doodlebug is staring steadfastly in Thunder's face, looking at him lovingly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the best choice. <laughs> You know, back in the olden days, people in Pokemon would get married. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Thunder, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elma has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? Welcome aboard. Ah. Say, thank you for... Thank you for following, Pokemon Girl. I could barely read it because it was right over the green menu. Uh, yeah, Poke Pokemon, Pokemon Girl without an eye. Well, oh, there we go. Well, nice, nice to meet you. Hope you enjoy the Nuzlocke and my eventual suffering. <laughs> the challenge hasn't really begun yet. There's a huge build-up to when you actually get Pokeballs in this game. I see. It sounds a little difficult, but when someone makes that kind of request, it must be important. Mm. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Pokebeer came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Okay. Poke -ge Pokemon gear. Oh, Poke gear. Is that often called? Yeah, I know, Mom. Oh, I don't need a tutorial from a boomer. <laughs> Guess what? You can use Pokemon gear to make a phone call, too. Ah, uh, what are you, an ad for Poke gear? <laughs> this is like in the Truman Show when his wife just randomly does a commercial while they're having a normal conversation. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Do you remember now? Yes, I remember how it works. Just part of the Poke... Oh my god! <laughs> I don't love it. You're like, I don't need a tutorial and they give it to you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Pokemon games are kind of bad with tutorials. <laughs> I, I did like in Sword and Shield there was a point where uh, Leon was like, okay, I'll tell you how to catch Pokemon. And if you caught any, he would be like, oh, you already have some, so I don't have to tell you. <laughs> Names of the people you can call automatically are registered. This select one gives him or her a call. Well, I can't believe it. It's so easy to make a phone call. Ugh. Ugh, mom's just cramping my style. Alright. Uh, and I should check. Let's see. Are there any other items we get? Uh, there is one I can get where Silver is standing once he moves. But, right now, I don't think I need to worry about that. 
frankly, I don't think I'll need to worry about most items. I'll just be... Alright. Oh, wait one second! Ah, oh, good lord. I almost for completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. See, now we're friends, right? Right? <laughs> so I'm going to register Professor Elm's number just to shut him up. I'll call you if anything comes up. Or, or if I want to talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Excitement. Hey, <laughs> you Pokemon? The wings, and you're not ready for battle. Keep out of the tall grass. <laughs> I wear my cap sideways, because I don't respect authority. I'm cool, right? Right? Is there something over here? Yes, there is. I thought so. Been a while since I played the games. Another potion. So, <laughs> I'm going to be drowning in potions. Technically not a viable count. Still getting centred? It's pretty late where I am. I'm surprised we're getting centred encounters. I thought those were only around in a day. Alright, so I suppose I should fight a few Pokemon just to give Doodlebug some experience points. But I don't want her to level up. Don't want to. Don't want to really. Gr uh oh, Centra identified Doodle Bug. It knows who you, who you are, Doodle. Holy crap, a critical hit. Alright. It'll be the only encounter I'll have on this route because, good lord. I don't want to. I don't want to take too many risks. And it gave me quite a bit of experience, so. And Doodlebug should be fast enough to run from any further encounters. Pidgey. Yeah, what? I, I thought it would be nighttime when I was playing because of how late it is where I'm. But it's still getting encounters that normally get in the day. Yeah, I'm mistaken about how the, the encounter system works from day and night. An apricorn tree. Oh yeah, I don't have an apricorn box yet. Ah, ah. Didn't mean to go that way. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, and I'll just keep going. I can make sure I get all the items. My second time going through here. Oh no, it's a boomer! Yeah, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell! It's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay then, follow me right to this van! Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were wearing the running shoes. <laughs> I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try to keep up. That's so patronizing. Like, oh, I didn't know you were slow. I guess I'll just go slower. I'll take smaller steps, shorty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pokemon Center. Pokemon. It's rotating sign. Pretty cool animation. Yeah, yeah, that's Sprout 30. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wasn't this for Pokemon live in town with all the other people? Ah, I like resting my feet in the sea. <laughs> Here's my house. For your effort, I'll give you the running shoes. Okay, so... Now we can run. Hooray! Alright. Gotta go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Uh, the bell. 
I'll take your poke brown for a few seconds. <laughs> oh, that, that image isn't... No, that, that emote isn't showing. Maybe it shows on Twitch proper. Yeah. Window is fair. It doesn't show on OBS, which... It makes it look really weird. <laughs> yeah. We restored your Pokemon to full health. All right. Please come back anytime. I just realized something I can do. I can take this chat window over here. Which uh, will allow me to do a better job with certain things. Just don't, 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 don't worry about it. It's just... It's easier for me to see with it because I'm because now it's a window. I'm, I'm doing a bad job explaining things. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, what now? Oh, I need to bug you more. I made it. I've got one thing. Here, a token for me. Here. <laughs> oh man, you really shouldn't accept gifts from old, strange old men. <laughs> this, this is a lot weirder than it's meant to be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's giving me a map. Okay, that's very nice. Why didn't mom give me a map? That seems more things she would do. She gave me, like, everything. Alright, and then I'll... A Caterpie. Alright. Our dual bug destroy that caterpillar. Man, this is, uh, we're 10, we're an adult now. <laughs> it's all right, Mom, I'm 10 already. I'm practically a man. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think... I should get Doodlebug to level 7 before my battle with my rival, just to make sure I'm gonna, going to beat him. But I don't want to have to restart this. Oh, wow, Pidgey. Uh, level 4, that's that's a little bit too high of a level. I don't want to... I don't want to get creamed. You gotta be cautious. At, this low, at these low levels. And I don't want to have to reset specifically because, I mean, it's too good that <laughs> I named my Sydney Quill after, dang it, Tackle Nest. Oh man, but that Pidgey has low attack. <laughs> good lord, only one damage. <laughs> Wouldn't need to reset? Uh, I'd reset on principle. Alright, level 6. HP up by 2, all the stats up by 1. Okay, and she learned Smoke Train. Yeah, I know, the Nuzzle rules technically don't take effect until... Alright, uh, this is where you get the Apricorn box. You talk to this weirdo. Uh, Pokemon usually come to my house directly for me. You're not paying attention. How are you? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Got an apricorn box. Now I can pick the apricorns. I suppose I wouldn't have to reset. Mm. All right. So. Got a gurn apricorn. A gurn apricorn. All right. When I was a, when I was a fur, fur was your favorite Pokemon. Will this cute? <laughs> Let's see. I do. Oh my goodness! There's a critical. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good thing it's Tech Man. Please be enough to kill it. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna. 
We're gonna backtrack back to town and heal him, or yeah, I think we can just go to Mr. Pokemon's house and and uh, we'll heal there. Oh man, that was that was surprising. See, critical hits will just mess you up. Yeah, yeah, fur is fluffy. I do hope I'm able to get a Zubat because Crobat is one of my favorite, absolute favorite Pokemon. It was my favorite Pokemon for a long time until Glissapod came along and I was like, yes, please. <laughs> it's it's Isopod hour and I love that thing. You must be Thunder. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elmer earlier. Uh, all right, now, have I told you about cryptocurrency? Oh, dang it. <laughs> this is what I want for Aunt Professor Elm to examine. And he just pulls his hand out of a bag and he flips us off. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Mystery egg, woo. A friend of mine from Ecotique City, Ecotique gave me... It to me. I bet you could find out what kind of egg is. this can't find this kind of egg in Johto. It, it will literally hatch into a Johto Pokemon. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to research on Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> you return to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have it from rest. Yes! She really needs it. You got freaking Nailed by a caterpie. Ah, and what's that? <coughs> I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Thunder. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You'll treat your Pokemon with loving care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you see no caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Go meet kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. And I have a feeling this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. <coughs> uh, yeah. In, the, in this game, he's doing a radio show. They did add a lot of new features in the Gold, Silver, and Crystal games that were really cool. Oh. Uh, hello, Thunder. Uh, uh, I just had to talk about the latest episode of Game of Thrones. God oh, dang it. <laughs> it's a disaster. It's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, no. The last season of Game of Thrones is terrible. Oh, it's just the worst. <laughs> Get back here now. <laughs> yeah, that's my headcanon that... <laughs> That Professor Elm really likes Game of Thrones. <laughs> Alright. A punk Ebercone. <laughs> Alright. A Metapod. You know what, um, I'm going to run because it's going to be just annoying to fight that dude constantly using Harden. <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. Alright. Teach this Caterpie who's boss. Yeah, Metapod's kind of annoying to deal with. Alright. 
it. Uh, I'll need to battle another Pokemon to level up. And I think that's very important because it looks like this Cyndaquil has low HP and defense IVs. Yeah, that damage is pretty good for Caterpie. I'm surprised. But I think we'll do fine. All yeah, right. Here we go. All right. Ooh, special attack and attack went up by two. So, probably have some pretty good IVs on those stats. <coughs> They're going up by so much. Yeah, I don't want to fight any more Pokemon now. Because I do not want to do luck to be too high of level. Because I do still want to catch wild Pokemon. <laughs> Once I get those Pokeballs. Uh, first stop at the Pokemon Center. Because I know what's going on. Going to happen. I'm going to get ambushed by. <laughs> by someone who's ambivalent to the concept of good and evil. <laughs> All right. You got that uh, Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. You get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, well, I've already picked a name for him. <laughs> I know what I'm going to name him. <laughs> I do like that in this game, he is the first trainer that you fight. Because it really sets the stage for who he's going to be. That he's going to be your rival. It's a big deal. Ooh, dang. All right, uh, yeah, I'll leer him. So I have a high damage output. Yeah, there we go. Ha, huh, but I have a head start on you on that, on front. The speed of, <laughs> you know, a K for someone weak. Oh, good lord, a critical hit. This is actually pretty close. <laughs> I think that might be a harbinger of what's to come. Good lord. Oh, low weight. Good lord. I didn't expect it to hurt a cobra level. Yeah, all those levels were absolutely necessary. Have you won? Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Huh. Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no. You saw my name. Yes. And why is your middle name Francis? <laughs> Jank. That was actually much closer than I thought it would be. So, yeah. I definitely have to be very cautious. Alright, so go to Elm's Lab. Sure. 
Shortcut. At least he becomes a good guy in the end. Yeah. Yeah, he grows to be a better person. That's what's that that is what's good about him as a rival. You see him become a better person as a result of what happens in the game. Oh yeah. And there's an item hidden here. Yeah. Yeah boy. Alright. Who are you? We're investigating a case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever get it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. What the hell? Hold on a second, he had nothing to do with it. I saw it, it was the red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did. Did you happen to get his name? Exactly. All right. He has the most appropriate name. Douche. Wait, is there an apostrophe? Is there an apostrophe E? This is Pokemon. And they don't have the apostrophe E? All right, Douche. His mom must be from Kalos. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I, I want a Crobat too. I want Zubat because Crobat's one of my favorites. I love it. I see. So Duche was his name. <laughs> Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. Failure away. <laughs> Sandra and Cass, I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. Sandra, this is so terrible. <laughs> that episode of Game of Thrones was awful. <laughs> so yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big story? Here we go. Mystery egg handled to... This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something, something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. You can fascinate a man by presenting him with an egg. <laughs> well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secrets it holds. He just he just makes an omelet with it. <laughs> Absolute douchebag move. I'll keep it for a while. Find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? I told him not to step on my turf. He just grabs a shotgun. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Samuel. <laughs> Is it true? That's incredible. He's superb at seeing potential in people as trainers. Well, I knew you were a little different. Things are gonna be fun. Your Pokemon seems to really like you. Why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to repeat, I... Okay, I know how the Pokemon League works. Hey, don't do that, Calamity. Don't be naughty. Don't cause mischief. You little bugger. You want some attention? Why don't you just pull me like a normal cat? Why do you have to cause mischief? Hey, come back here. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can throw my channels. You can certainly challenge Violet City's gym since you didn't pick the grass type like an idiot. <laughs> hey, no, Calamity, stop doing that. Uh, he is such a little baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll tell Mom. Oh, God. Take the training wheels off, why don't you? All right, Mom. Hello, Mama. So you're leaving you're on an adventure. Okay, I'll help you, but what can I do for you? I know. Every time you receive pious money, I'll save some of it for you. A long journey. Money is important. Do you want to save money for you? Yes, absolutely, because she will, as she gets more stuff, she will buy items for you. 
And there are some really rare items, like, I remember you can get the Silk Scarf and the Choice Scarf from her. I believe she also gives a Moonstone, which is weird because you can't buy the Moonstone anywhere. <laughs> okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now go on. Alright, so I'll get through that last tutorial with the Pokeballs. And they are. Thunder, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. <laughs> I like that they show what the animation looks like in the overworld. <laughs> Just like that. Huh? Was that too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. Yeah. So, I'll... S <laughs> if he wants attention, why does he go after Doodle? <laughs> I don't know. He's weird. Alright. Oh. She got a Rattata. I wonder if the encounter... Her encounter is different based on the time of day. Because I know Rattata is more common at night. So yeah, what I'll do right after this tutorial is I will save it. And then I'm going to go into PK Hanks and put in uh, a bunch of rare candy. So I won't have to grind when I catch new Pokemon. Because that's annoying. Or maybe I should do that after I catch some Pokemon. Hmm. 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 Decisions. Decisions. See, just like that. All right. I'll, I, let's see. All right. So let's see what the counters are. Let's see the. See what the I'm gonna double check the time mechanic. Yeah, it says it's not. It says it should be night. And this, oh, that's generation two. Generation three. Yeah, no, generation four. Oh, uh, generation four. Night doesn't start until it's eight in your time zone. So it's now. Now it's officially night, and that's okay. So that explains it. Yeah, I guess I should catch some encounters first. See, just like that. It's better to lower the target's HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. You can try out kinds of things, see what works. I'll give these, good luck. Something to Alright. How many Pokeballs is it? Only five. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll catch my next few encounters before dinners. Before I, I catch my next few encounters. Let's see. First, I gotta get this one. Round 29. All right, so what am I looking at my encounters? Yeah, the highest probability encounter is a Hoot Hoot. I would really like a Guts Ratata, but Hoot Hoot's the most likely encounter. All right, let's see what our encounter is for Route 29. Oh, a Ratata. <laughs> Alright, now because of the level gap, I don't want to risk attacking them and critting them into death. So I'll just throw the Pokeballs. Oh, rats? Well, it's all rats if his ability is run away. <laughs> now, a lot of the Pokemon that are available early, that are early in the game. They have such a high catch rate. You could just throw Pokeballs at them. 
but inevitably he's probably going to go through all five of mine. <laughs> Your Pokeballs are not as precious a resource in a Nuzlocke as they are in a standard game. Oh yeah, item used last. That's cool. I love it that they do that. Alright. And he used a tail whip, so I'm a little worried. Nope, stop it! Okay. Okay, so damage isn't high. Whew. Ah. Uh, Alright, you. Stop, it. Stop being a problem. T damn it! <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's running through all of my Pokeballs. <laughs> Just when I said, oh, his catch rate is so high, you usually don't have to damage them. <laughs> catch! <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> well, at this point, I can risk the crit because I only have one Pokeball left. So I'm bored with its HP, and if that doesn't kill him, well... Increases the chance of getting, getting, getting caught. Dang it, you problem! <laughs> you use up all my Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah, but if I got a crit, I would have killed him. <laughs> it's funny, because this isn't the only time it happened. It happened another time, and that also was a rat It's <laughs> pretty funny. Oh, give a nickname to Rattata. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I always have to name my Rattatas after Professor Ratigan. To Ratigan. To Ratigan. <laughs> and I double check to make sure I spelled that correctly. Okay, I did not spell that correctly. I get it's Owen. Prof no, wait, no, no, no. I spelled it wrong twice. <laughs> oh, forgot where the T was for a moment. Wait, I, I, I called him Ratatan. Rat, Ratigan. Okay. Professor Ratigan. Ah, there we go. There we go. That's right. All right, so let's take a look at the professor. All right, Radigan, do you have the guts? All right, place your bets. Guts! All right, game's over. I've won already because <laughs> Guts Radica is cracked. Yeah, Guts Radica is red. Gets Radica. <laughs> Ratata. <laughs> it's good. Alright. So let's see. The only item left to get here is the, is the other green apricorn. I'll need to get more Pokeballs. <laughs> because Radica just is a hoot hoot. Would have been a less good encounter, but not too bad of one. Hoot hoot can be pretty good. For a little, for a bit, but it's not the best flying type I can get. It ain't no crowbat. Yep. All right. Uh. Uh. Get get get, get that out of here. Ah. Uh, hello, calamity. Can we get more pets? You're getting attention the right way by just coming up to me and bunting me. Yeah, it'll be nice when I can get repels. Alright. Let's see. Alright, so. I can't get my Chego City encounter yet because you need to be able to fish. Or surf to make get any encounters here. Or there's headbutt encounters there too. 
All right, well, let's see what encounters I can get at Route 46. Route 46. Do I night again? I can get you, dude. I can't get Spiro because it's nighttime. Hmm. I wonder if I should save that encounter for headbutts because I mean, dude is not bad. Is that the best? Hmm. Oh, oh, this the choice is to save an encounter because there's uh again, let's look at because the towns also have headbutt trees. Yeah, but the uh, but here goes city has completely different encounters. Hmm. Big question. Should I go get? Should I get a prob a likely geo hit? A G I'm pretty much guaranteed a geo dude if I go in the tall grass at Route 46. Welcome. What do you need? Buying Pokeballs. No wonder. Do I get a Premier Ball? I think we do. You also got a Premier Ball. Okay. Yeah. It's always good to buy Pokeballs in groups of 10 to get a free Premier Ball. I don't... I think that only works for Pokeballs. So, okay. Okay. So, the encounters at Route 46... I can't encounter a Smeral because it's night time in game. So, and since I already caught a Radicta, I'm guaranteed a Geodude. But... If I save that encounter for later, I have, a, I have a good chance of getting a Spiro, an Ambipom, or a Heracross. Heracross is really good. I really like Heracross. Mm. Is that worth it? Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's, let me, let me take a look at the headbutt tree encounters. Mm, that, let's see. Okay. <laughs> so I'm looking at what, <laughs> so I'm looking at how many places have these headbutt trees. About 29. That's already an improbable can. Wait. Oh, never mind. Route 36 actually lacks headbutt trees. <laughs> <laughs> or does it? Wait. Or is is that wrong? Because there's it's. Eh. It's saying that, that there are no headbuttable trees there. Yeah, there are other chances to get those, to get hair across. So, I'll go on. Oh, oh, okay, okay. No, I have to go to Generation 4 for that. That was in Generation 2. That didn't have, where it didn't have headbuttable trees there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'll 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 grab it. I'll go I'll go there and grab a Geo dude. There'll be other chances to get headbutt trees. And it's always better and it's always better to have it's always better to have a, a lot, have a full team, and having a rock type before up type is going to be pretty helpful early game. All right.
All right, so Geodude, what's its catch rate? I don't think it's, that's catch rate's pretty high. But as it's a rock type, I can risk hitting it quite a few times. Yeah, let's, uh, let's injure it quite a bit. Yeah, I know it's not very effective. Now it's using defense curl. Okay, but I want to get it at least below five. Uh, let's do it at least one more time. Yeah, now he's using defense curl more, so. Yeah, let's throw Pokeballs. Oh, I should throw the Premier Ball out first. Oh, whatever. Ah. Dang, a critical hit. Uh, but I can stand a couple more hits from him. Okay. Geodude. Yeah, Geodude's at the potato was added to the Pokedex. You know what? I'll name him what he was always meant to be. A lid. He's a lid to a pickle jar. <laughs> yes, that is canonically what people did with Geodude. <laughs> it's freaking stupid. Alright, well let's look at what a ability lid has. Rockhead. Protects the Pokemon from real cold damage. That could be pretty useful. Sturdy is not as good in this generation. It just protects from one hit KL moves. Alright, and there are no items that I can get to. Alright, so head back to Cherry Grove. And I can't get any counters there. Oh, yeah, I should. I didn't make note of rest of my encounters. Red forty six Geo Dude. There we go. Yeah, it'll be nice when I'm able to get to when I can get some repels. Right now, I don't know if I can afford, um... Alright. Alright, so now let's see, we'll see what the encounter I can get for about 30 years. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. I've already caught a red test, so I have a 30% chance of a hoodoo. And a 30% chance of a spinner rack. So it's pretty much a coin toss between those two. Uh, none of them are, are among the best Pokemon. So maybe it's best for me to save that. But then again, that's the encounter I can get at Cherry Grove already. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get my Route 30 encounter. Okay. 30 is Hoot Hoot. All right, should I risk attacking? No, I don't think so. First, let's throw the premier ball at this guy. Might as well. Yeah, 
Pokemon go free. Okay. Okay. Gotta. Gotta. Got a hoot hoot. All right. So let's see. What should I name her? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, no. Not enough space for that name. Hootie. All right. That works. No, wait. Got a better. Got a better idea. M Mrs. Mrs. Hootie. <laughs> and don't you forget it. <laughs> That's Mrs. Hootie to you. <laughs> yeah, they have periods. Yeah, I know. Two buggers rolling around in the grass. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> All right. So what I will do now is I will save it because I want to uh, put in infinite a bunch of rare can handies. So, uh, but I I have to turn on PKX to do that, which that's all I'm gonna be hacking in for now. Maybe if I have to, if I have other items I can farm, I'll hack those in so I don't have to do busy work. Hug <laughs> suddenly starts a forest fire because she has an open flame on her back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that. All right. All right, so I'm going to have to take a moment to... Uh, All right. And I will... I would show the PKX so that when I take a look at yeah some pretty low IVs except for the attack IV that's pretty good what about Radigan Radigan's got pretty good IVs alright what about Lid ooh Lid's got some stellar IVs 25 special defense what about Mrs. Hootie Oh, and 30 special defense IVs. Yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty good. Oh, I forgot to check Miss Ho Miss Hootie's ability. Insomnia. I don't check with the other one is Keen Eye. Okay. So now I'm going to just put in the items in this rare candy will import 900 and uh, I'll export that save okay All right. And and I believe this is right. Yep. Okay. There we go. Alright, 
and let's look at the bag. Yep, rare candies. All right, so use them to get every one of these guys at level eight. All right, right again at level four. And we learned quick attack. Nice. A little tedious in this version, in this game. What's okay? Oh, well, okay, but 13, so I'm good. So I'm really, so I'm fine. I do gotta be concerned about the level caps. Right, I gotta learn focus energy. I don't think I'll use that. Alright, Radigan's at little lead, so now it's time for lid. Let him learn mud sport, which is completely useless for him. Okay, level five, level six. Seven. And eight. Or rock polish, which that might be pretty useful. Mrs. Hootie. She learned hypnosis. I'm not sure what the action of that is at this point in this game. That could be pretty good. Take a look at our Pokemon. Doodlebug is looking good. Oh yeah, right. I'm looking very good. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, quick attack is better than tackle. Well, it has better pace power at this version and better accuracy. So yeah, it's pretty much replaced. Attack and yeah, uh, no, I think I'll be, be using. I like I like having this organized, arranged. All right, put rock polish there. Gosh, doubling his speeds. Yeah, that could that that would make him faster than a lot of other Pokemon. So yeah. But the accuracy is 60. Mm. Yeah, so it's not good. Foresight, uh, it's pretty good for ghosts, taking care of ghost types. Alright. See what items there are here. There's some. There's. Oh, there's a hidden item I miss. There's a tr by a trainer's tip sign. Somewhere in here. In the flower bed east of the trainer's tip sign. That's weird. Is it in here? Okay, there's a train of tip sign here somewhere. Hold on, let me. Yeah, that's a directional sign. A very odd. Is it up here? 
got it. I missed it before. <laughs> Let's see. We can run into you. Don't usually have any threats, but you know, you don't want to be too reckless. In fact, let's let's let Lid in front because, yeah. Little will be able to eviscerate most of these guys. I just lost some trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. I have four Pokemon. You only have one. Youngster Joey, your Rattata is not top percentage. You're a liar. <laughs> yeah, uh... Rock Palace would be worth it because he'll do so little damage. <laughs> Good lord, Lid. Your damage is insane. Yeah, youngster Joey. Can I go back to school? Can't get your number? Oh, ring up to battle. Really weird, kid, but okay. Actually, rebasking him would be really good because it'll give you extra money. I'll ring you whenever I get to Earth to battle. But does he ring you for other reasons? Hold on. Hold on, let me see it. Youngster. Youngster Joey. Is, is there anything else you can get from him? Let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, do, let's see, uh, uh, no, he can't give you items in this version. In other versions of it, in other versions he does, but not this one. And this guy. Hey Mikey, how's it going? You're a Pokemon trainer, right? <laughs> let's have a battle. You beat you beat young Tr Joey with a level two Pidgey. Get that weak shit out of here! I nearly one hit your Pidgey. I KO your Pidgey. <laughs> no, <laughs> you O code your Pidgey. Dang, freaking tackle! <laughs> All right. He's got a Rattata of his own. Your Rattata ain't top percentage either. <laughs> oh, he used a Tail Whip. Yeah. Too bad. It is an unstoppable force. That critical hit was not necessary, Lid, but thanks. I love your spirit. Lid grew to level 9. Alright. Alright, so I'll, you know what, I'll let Mrs. Hootie take the front now. Alright, this is where the potion is. Alright, alright. What are items are there? Let's see, the only other guy's a bug catcher, so I don't think he's going to need to worry about looking at him. He just got Caterpie. What are the items are there? Yes. Yeah, there's no other hidden. There's no other. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah. Youngster Joey will give me HP ups later in the game. That That's pretty useful. That's pretty cool. 
I don't have a trainer, but if you look what in the eyes, prepare to battle. Dang it. Hey, hon, your fat head's in the way. What? No. No, it's not. What? I can't do things perfectly every time. <laughs> <laughs> the bug that doodles has arrived. Oh no, a bug catcher. However will I stop it with my owl? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. You can see the, the, the hoot hoot walking. Alright, Dodd. Time to destroy you. It's too bad I don't have any flying type attacks, but... Yeah, tackle does a huge amount of damage. <laughs> Take that, you slack yelled simpleton. <laughs> Go on, Mrs. Hootie, do to your husband proud. Well, that was easy. Alright. Uh, yeah, look, she's. You can see the Hoodoo's ant walking animation. It's really cute. Alright, Route 31, so I can get another encounter in here. What is possible here? Okay. Anything's possible if you believe hard enough. <laughs> That's not how it works. Alright, Ratata and... It does in the world of Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Ratata and Hoot Hoot I already have caught. Uh, so my chances are Spinarak or Bellsprout. Uh, I guess Bellsprout would be slightly better in counter. But Spinarak wouldn't be too bad. Not a viable encounter. Get out of here, you, you rat. You should be terrified of that owl. Dark cave. Pokemon could light it up. I'd explore it. Yeah, I'll, 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 do, I'll do that myself. Found a potion. All right, a spinner. All right, and I do not want to risk knocking it out. So let's uh, just throw a Pokeballs. All right, I caught it. Nice, after one Pokeball. Spinarak's data was added to the Pokedex. Ring spit Pokemon? Ah, oh, that is disgusting. Alright. Got a nickname him. If anyone has any suggestions. But I already have an idea to what to name her. Alright, alright. See no suggestions, so I'll go with my idea. Shelob. I'm going to double check, make sure I'm spelling that correctly. Because I, 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 I misspelled, yeah, I misspelled rat again, so I want to make sure I'm not doing any of these wrong. She love, let's see what her, let's see what her ability is. Swarm is the better ability for Spinarak. All right, yeah. Okay, so. Where most of my Pokemon are female? <laughs> Just happenstance. For most Pokemon, it's a 50 50 chance. For some Pokemon, it's. Oh, that's the wrong one. I want to get the bag so I can give Shelob some rare candies. Her <coughs> 
<coughs> and she large scary face. I don't think that'll be very useful. There might be a few Pokemon that's useful with useful against them for catching them. Yeah, but the split is pretty even. She level one constrict. Alright. But now let's uh, fill that out in my little document here. Spinner 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 rack. There we go. Spinner rack is my counter for route thirty one. All right, and I'll be headed to Dark Cave to get my encounter for now. I believe. Yep, my only viable encounter is Zubat, unless I get the one percent chance of Doom Sparse, which would which would be hilarious, but would also be kind of a trash Pokemon. But I would really like a Zubat. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just... I, I won't be able to see... Will I be able to see a little bit? Yeah. So I think I'll be able to... I, oh. Yeah, I can see a little bit. So I should be able to grab the potion that's around here. Alright, here's my encounter. Unless it's a Geo dude. Alright. Yes. It is. It is as the prophecy speak. Oh wait. I could use hypnosis to put it to sleep. That'll increase my chances of getting getting it caught. And there's not really much Zubat can do. See so yeah, this one's mail. <laughs> And a harem? No! It's not a harem. It's gonna be an even split of male and female Pokemon once I catch the Zubat. Which, uh, I hope I do because because Crobat's awesome. Alright. Dark. Cave. Zubat! Which I will not be able to use because it's still asleep, but that doesn't matter because this little po little Z bats is alright now like great. Alright, nickname to Zubat. Hold on. Alright. <coughs> I will call him Vladimir. All right, let's uh, feed him rare candies while he's asleep. Probably super bad for him. That's great, because I'm really looking forward to having a Crobat. It's going to be so good. And he learns Supersonic. Yeah, it's going to be a while before he learns any good news, so... He is not really going to be doing much for a good long while. It's going to be a while before he's actually useful. All right. In fact, I'll get him up to level nine. Cause might as well. All right. Now let's see. Let's just check out Sheila's move. Let's see, boy. Alright, wait. 
Let's see. Oh, the chirp will reduce the speed. That's uh, actually better. I thought it stops Pokemon from escaping. With reduce the speed, that's actually really useful. Which one's stronger? Or is it Leech Life or Astonish? Astonish is stronger, so I'll put it right there. All right. All right. It's really good. All right. No, there we, there's the potion. All right. I don't need to put up with this. All right. Uh, this guy won't fight you. Uh, I want to fight today. I'm looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt. I'm sleeping. Oh, well, Pokemon. Be easy to catch. Okay. All right, a bulk apricorn. <laughs> okay. What's this here? It's a Pokeball. Okay. Bug catcher wait, who just has a way of caterpies. Why am I not? Why why did I expect anything less? <laughs> why would I expect anything else from this? From this guy? <laughs> Alright, Wade. Let's do this. Oh no, a caterpie. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Dang, nearly got the one hit KO, but just just, just shy of it. Woo! Yeah. Turn them into pellets. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> What the heck are those sounds? Have you forgot what a caterpie sounds like? <laughs> no, no, it's just... <laughs> no, I have not forgotten what a caterpie sounds like. Alright. I might have reduced my speed enough for him to be outspeed. Yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't use poison sink, so no chance of getting poisoned. Unless I miss here. Which is a non zero chance. <laughs> tackle. I, you've reduced my speed enough. Wade. <laughs> ah, dang it. Tackle missed. Oh, thanks for the hydrate regime, huh? Yeah, and the plaster check. Ugh. Yep, making sure. Sitting up straight. You're awesome. I like you. Took a look at Pokemon here every day. What does Wade do? He doesn't give you items, but. I guess. Huh. Don't say what Wade does, but I guess I'll listen. Yes. 
I look for Pokemon here every day. We're in tall grass to find all kinds of bears. If you'd like, here I can choose some and give you a phone. Yeah. Aw, you you altered the the emoji. What did you did you put a finger emoji on? <laughs> this is, oh my goodness! Oh, here we go. Okay, so bug catcher Wade will sometimes give you berries. All right, all right, all right. That's cool. That's cool. Can we see what I might find it something you might like? A bell spray. Uh oh. I don't need you. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really good. How often do they on the phone. Hold on a second. Um. Something good. Let's see. Uh, I just see because I'm think because I'm thinking. That's just something I could have reasonably. That I could have reasonably farmed. That might be. Might be. Might be able to just hack at a bunch of. And here, here, here's Doodle Bug just, just having the time of her life. <coughs> <laughs> Check something, something. Okay. 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 Let's see. Okay, we'll begin calling the player for rematches. Once the player has collected seven badges to defeat Team Rocket, in addition, once the raid towers, but say the player can be can call registered trainers and arrange rematch. Right? Okay, each uh, as long as the player is not in the same route or location, they will accept challenges. We will be called again in order to additionally the further power up the trainers. Okay. So it doesn't. So get. So. Okay. He gives away berries, so I'm guessing he'll call at random times. So I guess reasonably I could be farming that. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Lyra, what are you doing? I knew it was you, Thunder. How did you get past me? Here's something neat for, for surprising me, Thunder. A versus recorder. We'll be using that, but hey, it's cool. Yeah, it records Pokemon battles. Man, if only it was possible to stream Pokemon battles. <laughs> Alright. And I will get a Violet City encounter, that egg I will get. Oh, and there's a juggler that could give you berries too. So yeah, I think I'll consider the no light bit of berry farming. Uh, first of all, I'll just go and stop by the Pokemon Center. Oh yeah, this man. Primo. Can I get the Pokemon now? 
he will give me a Pokemon egg. Yeah, that will be my encounter. Uh, this out. Primo appears in the Pokemon Center. You will offer a chance to give gives their opinion on him. He apparently is a celebrity. Receive secret wallpapers and Pokemon things. All right, but he pr probably would need an empty move, an empty slot in my Pokemon team. Okay, just primo gift, gift Pokemon. So what city are you in now? Violet City. Ah, all right. Any specific gym? Oh wait, that's the bird gym, I think. Yes. Okay. Well, some of it's coming back to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you trying to distract me by being the, like this? <laughs> by doing this? Well, I'm just watching you. Just step. All right. I'm just standing here watching you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are, you're just standing here watching it. Watching me. All right. All right. I need to look up my trainer ID number. All right, so six two seven six zero. Okay. Are you looking at specific boxes or eggs? I want to get the Marie bag. Oh. <laughs> so I have to give him those uh, responses. Uh, I also yeah. think I'll need. Uh, I also think I'll need to. Put a Pokemon, put a Pokemon in the boxes. I probably have to have an empty party slot. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's see. Uh, as much uh, I'll keep Zubat in. Yeah, who do you want to get rid of? Yeah, sorry, Shiva, but you're generally not going to be useful in the next gym. Mm. She is this this woman is being crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not familiar with the show Primo. I just want to but my wife is just being weird. Just <laughs> 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 want to what? Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see, I have to find... Old man. Mm, pocket money. Pocket money. Let's see. Status, I guess? Uh, let's see. Uh, pocket mm. money is not... Is that there? Uh, lifestyle. lifestyle, I guess. Well, yeah, pocket money. Life, po old man pocket money. Okay, that's a nonsensical statement. <laughs> oh my, is that how you feel about me? You're an no. old man with pocket money. No. No, it's just a necessary response to get what I want out of you. I never thought of it that way before. By the way, how do you like the way I am so exciting and fun? You're a habit gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is, it, is, is that under... Nope. Uh, that would be lifestyle, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Habits... It was Let's see. Gourmet was under lifestyle. lifestyle. Oh, yeah. good eye. 
I saw it just as you confirmed it. All right. You are no ordinary fine. No, you such a thing. You are a traitor, right? I'll pull some strings for you. I can get you. swing a deal and give you this egg. You take good care of it. Okay. So, my Violet City City encounter will be a Mareep. Okay. Once this thing hatches. Which is going to take probably forever. I, I wonder if I can... If, if I can game the system in TK Hex. You can try. You yeah, don't we'll... have a slug mod, so it's gonna be hard. All right. Yeah, so. I'll. I'll have to check that. Hold on. Let's see. And there's a. You can get an apricorn right here. A yellow apricorn. Put that in the apricorn box. I can get some, an item by Sprout Tower. Yeah, and the set of the small gray island. Alright, there we go. Pokeball. Nice. Alright. I think I can go to Route 34 now. 32 now. I don't think that's blocked off to you. No, it is not. So I can get my encounter here. <laughs> what encounters are possible? Uh, let's see. Not Ratata or Zubat. <laughs> I could get a Bellsprout or a Wooper. Wooper would be really good. So let's find out what we get. <laughs> ah, I could re-roll my encounter. Okay, a bell sprout. <coughs> that is just fine. I'll put him to sleep and then just start throwing Pokeballs out. All right. Bell Sprout. Give a nickname to the Bell Sprout. Oh, an ad break in progress. Okay, I'll wait for the ad break to end because it will only take a few seconds. You know, because if someone in chat has a suggestion for the name, I want to give them that uh, that option. I want them to be able to do that. All right, so just 30 seconds. All right, all right, all right. Okay. 14, yeah. 
waiting for the ad sound read. You know, I don't if if anyone in chat wants to give that suggestion or wants to give them that option, because that should be the gift for being in chat. All right, the ad break is ended. I just caught this brown trout. I was considering naming it. I just thought I'd give time for a chat to suggest a name for it. If you can come up with one. And if nobody suggests any, I'll give him one. <laughs> Alright, well, I remember in the anime, I should like this personality quiz and it said he's a bell sprout. <laughs> it attributed his personality to a bell sprout, so he's gonna be Ash. Uh, Ash will be transferred to the box. I don't think I'll need a grass type at this point. And I also think this is a good spot to end it. So let's save the game. Yeah, buddy, don't you don't you do that. Alright, saving a lot of data. Now, but let's look who else can be we can who we could raid. I think I'll end the stream there. Let's see. And if you want to suggest anyone to raid, that is just fine. Oh, well, hmm, probably that one's good because they're playing Fire Red Leaf Green. But let's see, let's see if someone I know more personally because, well, I know them. I don't, oh, wow, well, hold on. Come on, come here, come here, buddy, come here, buddy. I felt something in your tail, I want to pick it up. I guess he's not being cooperative. All right. I right, don't, don't. Let's just keep looking. Let's see. Let me take a look at some. Ah, dang it. I nearly got the thing out of his tail. He really walked away. Yeah, I'll probably have to. You probably, I'll probably have to give him a treat to get him to <laughs> to stand still long enough for me to get the thing out of his tail. Let's see. Let that. Right. Oh, there we go. It's gone. Excellent. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Hey, don't do that. Yes, B. All right. Okay. Uh, wait. Where is it? Ah, there we go. I have to make sure I spell this name correctly. All right. So close that up and we will get ready to raid VTuber Missing Now. I hope you enjoyed this stream. I had a lot of fun playing uh, this game again. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm bad at outro, so have a good night <laughs> or day or whatever it is where you are. <laughs>